So what's going on guys and welcome back to episode number 24 of our Portsmouth career mode and we are going to be finishing up transfer deadline day. So with just 10 hours remaining we're going to wait and see if we can bring in any new players. So one player we do want to bring in is this guy here, Jeff Raid Adelaide. He is currently on a 5,000 a week contract. He's 18 years of age. We are going to loan him for two years and then we're going to have the possibility to buy him for 1 million euros in the future. So that is going to be a player that we are going to bring in and hopefully we can maybe try and turn him into a decent player. And uh, he's pretty much going to be in our second squad, but especially now McGurk is no longer with us. Um, basically, the wages and the money we got from McGurk, we've invested in this youngster from Arsenal. So guys, a lot of you guys have been saying for me to go ahead and get Deli Ali, but as you can see that I just simply cannot afford him. He's currently rated 75, he's valued at 3.5 million and his wage is 40,000 a week. And I'm sorry guys, but I cannot simply afford it. So we have had a contract offer except for Josh Onoma. We have in fact offered 1.3 million for him. He's a 19 year old from Spurs, a central attacking midfielder and we are going to go ahead and accept him into the club. So a massive signing for us and that is going to be probably our last signing of the first transfer window. So as we're into a new month, we are going to give you the first squad report. So our goalkeeper has already gone up plus five, and he is a fantastic goalkeeper. Then obviously, as you see there, we've got our right back who's retiring at the end of the season, currently at 35 years of age, and he's starting to decrease in his stats. So we have, in fact, um, gone ahead and promoted a uh, player from our youth academy who's currently 55 rated, but he has got a potential between 79 and 93, which is incredible. And a lot of players here look very, very promising. Our two centre-backs, well, they look like very, very solid players. Players. Ender Stevens, Adam Barton, Ruben Loftus Cheeks now a 68 rated player. Hopefully, we can get up to the 70s this season. Uh, Martin Odegaard is a 69 rated, Larson 66, Ian Acho has gone up to 74 now, uh, Bergwin 73, but unfortunately, he has actually got too much ban in the European Cup. Um, actually, there, Fabian Torres, um, 68, 60, uh, 57. Uh, Manny Garcia is actually 66 rated now, which is great to see. What more? Via Libre is now a 67 rated. Uh, Christian Burgess has gone up to 65. Uh, Caldera, this is a scout of future star we'd actually pick up, or a youth academy prospect, I should say. Uh, he doesn't look too bad, but hopefully he can start to grow a little bit more in stats. This is that right back I was on about. He's 55 rated. He doesn't look that good at the moment, but he has got very good potential, so hopefully we can try and increase his stats. This here is Jeff Raid Adelaide, the player we did, in fact, bring in on loan from Arsenal. We have got the option to buy him at the end of a two-year spell for one million. Uh, we've also got Josh Onoma. He is now a 69 rated centre-back attacking midfielder. We picked him up for 1.3 million, which is actually 300,000 under his valuation. Uh, he's got some fantastic stats, and I'm really hoping he can start to prove to be a world-class player at the club, and he will be our starting 11. So we are going to have to jug around with our starting 11 lineup. I'm going to have to wait and see who we believe is going to be our best, best lineup. But we're going to have a look at the squad table here. We're currently sitting in a 14th place. We haven't actually had that good a start. We're five points off of top place, who currently hold it is MK Dons. But we have had a good run in the previous episode, and hopefully we can continue that in this one. And there's only going to be two episodes in two games in this episode, as we have had a little bit of uh, transfer action. This is in fact going to be our lineup for the game up against Doncaster at Fratton Park. As you see there, we are starting with a pretty strong squad. We've got Bergwin, Ian Atcher and Fabian Torres on the right because Larson picked up a knock in training and will be out for three weeks. So I'm hoping he'll be able to come back soon. And Martin Odegaard and Onomar is going to be making his debut. So maybe he could get a good goal on his day, which would be fantastic to see. Just behind them is going to be our newly made captain, Loftus-Cheek. And in the back line of Stevens, Clark, Kwatsi and Davies. And in goal, our scout future star, Chiplock. Good chance here for Bergwin. Bergwin's going to play the ball through to Ian Acho. Ian Acho's through one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. He strikes it and he's put the ball wide of the post. He can't be missing from there. Oh, what a goal. Ian Acho's just made up for the miss because he's just scored a wonderful goal from outside the box. Instead of carrying it inside, this time I thought, why not strike it from range? A mistake there from the defender. I don't know what he was doing, but we striked it from range. And he found the far corner of the net. What a fantastic strike. And he's off the mark in the new league. Good chance of Doncaster here. We play the ball down the wing. Clark, they win the ball in the box and thankfully our goalkeeper comes out and makes a good punch. We've got to try and get the ball clear. We don't want to concede just for the half-time interval and the referee thankfully blows the final whistle, uh, the half-time whistle I should say, and uh, we go into the break with a one-goal advantage. 
Martin Odegaard with the ball through to Bergwin. Bergwin's going to strike it. It's a very good interception, and they do, in fact, get the ball out wide for a corner. From the corner kick, we're going to take the short corner. It's going to come to Ian Acho, who we do know can strike it from range. Ian Acho strike it with his right boot, and um, his shot is pretty wild, to be honest. We've got a good break on here. Enach has been played through. Unfortunately, they're going to catch up with him because of his fitness levels. And they do, in fact, regame session the ball in the 93rd minute. But I think that should be it for the game as Alves picks up the ball here. He plays the ball to Loftus Cheek. Loftus Cheek cannot lose it. He's lost the ball. And we could be in trouble here unless the referee blows the final whistle. But they're going to have a last counter attack. They play the ball over the top. Is he offside? No, he's onside. This, we cannot squander our lead. Thankfully, their shot is very wild, and that is the final whistle. So we end up winning the game at 1-0. Not the most convincing of wins, but it's still a win. My man of the match goes to Matt Clark. I did think he played very well at the centre defensive role, and uh, him, along with Kwatse, are a very solid centre-backs. So now we're going to move into our second and final game of the episode, which is going to be away from home up against Barnley. We are going to be playing in our famous blue and white kit. And, uh, well... We've had a fantastic run of form. Can we continue that run of form away from home against Barnley? Uh, Barnley? Burns, Barnsley, I should say. And hopefully, we surely can. A mistake here from Barnsley. They've given the ball through to Ian Acho. Ian Acho is going to play the ball out wide to Bergwin. Bergwin, one on with the goalkeeper. Surely he's going to find the back of the net. There is no doubt that he's going to miss that one. And the worst possible start for Barnsley. And the best possible start for us. As we pick up a fantastic goal there. Ian Acho depossesses the centre-back. He plays the ball across. And De Bergwin there is not going to miss. We have all the faith in the world. And he picks up his second goal in the Football League so far this season. And like I said... Many times before, I'm so sure it's going to be his first of many to come. A mistake once again from the defenders. Bergwin's been played through. He's going to find the back of the net again. No, he's not because he scuffs his shot horribly wide of the post. Josh Onomai here. He's been played through. He's going to try the finesse into the far corner of the net. And I think that might have got deflection on its way through. Bergwin through to Onoma. Onoma's surely going to get there in time, but the goalkeeper gets there just an inch before him and does in fact collect the ball. But we are proving very, very dangerous, especially with so many attacking people on the pitch. I don't think the defenders can cope with us. Good chance of Barnsley here. They've been played through. They play the ball out wide. Coetz is going to try and depossess uh, Williams, or dispossess, I should say, as a lot of you guys have pointed out in the comments below. But a fantastic uh, block there from our uh, new centre back, Coetz, as we're going to come on the break here with Ian Acho. Ian Acho's taking the ball around his man here, but I don't think they will catch him up. But he plays the ball to Onomar. Onomar has actually got no energy left whatsoever, but he's going to offload the ball to Odegaard. Odegaard loses it, but Onomar does, in fact, regain possession of the ball. But David's going to pick the ball up here. He's played the ball to Onomar and wasn't a good ball at all there and Onomar loses the ball it's kind of come out to Williams there's three on three here with just 15 minutes remaining Kowatsa is going to do his best to try and prevent the cross from being played into the box it isn't the best across Onomar tries to win the header but it doesn't matter because the header goes over the bar and harmlessly wide out for a goal kick a mistake from the goalkeeper he's giving the ball away to Ian Acho Ian Acho is surely going to find the back of the net and that is an absolutely Awful mistake from the Barnsley goalkeeper and we have benefited from two mistakes and both mistakes come from their players. This time the goalkeeper gives the ball straight away. He gives it away to Ian Acho. Ian Acho is not going to miss from there as he fires the ball into the back of the net. Goalkeeper has no chance as he picks up his second goal of the game. A second goal um, in his... Um, career so far in the league but it's the second goal of the game and I think that should be a game set and match now we haven't had much pressure really and um, it's a simple win so that's it for the game my man of the match does in fact go to Ian Atch. I did think he played fantastic along with basically all of our centre backs or both Clark and Kwetsa and our goalkeeper also played very well as not much got through and I think we will do well in this league especially with a strong back line and we've got players like Bergwin and Iheanacho back on form and then hopefully Odegaard can start to hit his form because he hasn't been that impressive so far and uh, well I think we've built a fantastic squad. But that is in fact going to be it for this episode. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to hit the like button down below as it's going to be hugely appreciated. And I really hope to see you next time very soon for the next episode of probably the Portsmouth Career Mode. Thank you. Bye-bye.